Well, our country celebrates Juneteenth as an official holiday today. But it was on June 19, 1865, that African American slaves found out they had been free for more than two years. There will be many observances tomorrow. One will be in Midtown. We have Ajo Hansu, owner of Tribe 228. Ajo, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Well, what can we expect at the event tomorrow? So tomorrow we are celebrating Juneteenth, um, not only the liberation of African American people, as we all know the history, but we are also celebrating unity and diversity in the form of this multicultural event that Tribe 228 is putting on. Now Tribe 228 has some incredible African inspired fashion. How does your aesthetic fit into this celebration? So um, the celebration, I am sharing my platform with uh, numerous of um, artists here locally in St. Louis. And I bring the fashion, of course, being from Togo, West Africa, where I was born and raised before coming to the US. I bring that diversity in culture uh, into this event. But also I have T Spirit coming live, which she is a poet here in St. Louis, locally known, and she's gonna be coming through uh, to do poetry. I have James Biko, which is gonna be the DJ at the event. And um, that platform is also extended to um, Alicia Sunshine, which does a lot of Afrobeat dances, and she's a trained dancer locally here in St. Louis, as well as Pia Renee, which is also going to be doing body painting and face painting. So um, this event is shared between many of the different artists here in St. Louis. Again, uh, we're trying to convey the tone of unity and diversity and inclusivity, and while at the same time enjoying this great, great, great um, Juneteenth as we know it. Now, even after lots of restrictions have been dropped in St. Louis City, you seem to take COVID safety very seriously. How do you plan to keep guests safe? So at the event, we it's it's indoor and outdoor venue. So we are we are going to be managing um, crowd that way by allowing space outdoor to be used as well as indoor to be used. We are having guests bring masks um, for the event and we are emphasizing staying at a distance away from each other. We have uh, sanit uh, sanitizing stations for, you know, we're doing temperature checks at the door. So yeah, we're still taking COVID seriously and we hope our guests could do the same. And we only have a couple of seconds. So really quickly, can you tell me what does having Juneteenth as an official holiday this year mean to you? It means a great deal um, because, like I said, coming from an African background uh, into this country, I know that my share, my experiences are a little bit different than African Americans here. But at the same time, it is something very important and it needs to be celebrated and it needs to be talked about. So having it as an official holiday it only echoes what we need to happen a long time ago. So I hope everybody can come to the event. Uh, tickets are available on Eventbrite for purchase. And uh, the location is 4205 Del Mar. And I hope to see everybody there tomorrow. We're going to have a great time and share some culture, diversity, and unity. All right, everybody. And we will have a link to that Eventbrite at fox2now.com. Ajo Hansu, enjoy your Juneteenth. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me.